हेलो एवरीवन आई एम स्वाति घाडगे असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग फ्रॉम वॉलचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर टॉपिक फॉर टुडे सेशन इज सपोर्ट रिएक्शन बाय ग्राफिकल मेथड लर्निंग आउटकम ऑफ दिस सेशन एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन लर्नर विल बी एबल टू डिटरमाइन सपोर्ट रिएक्शन ऑफ सिंपली सपोर्टेड बीम बाई ग्राफिकल मेथड Simply supported beam means the two end of the beam are simply supported. Shown here in the figure, there are two methods are used for the analysis. One is by using equations of equilibrium; it is called as analytical method, and second is graphical method. For the analysis of the beam, three equations of equilibrium are used. summation of horizontal forces in x direction is equal to 0 summation of vertical forces in y direction is equal to 0 and the summation of moment is equal to 0 let us consider a numerical just explanation point of view the beam ab is simply supported the span of the beam ab is say 7 meter having a udl of intensity 20 kN per meter it is up to span 4 meter one point load is acting of 20 kN at a point 2 meter from point a and one point load is acting of 20 kN at 1 meter from point b so this is a given numerical analyze the given beam by using graphical method means determine ra and rb graphically this is a layout of sheet first plot a margin of the sheet leave 2 cm margin uh, at left side and in remaining three sides leave margin of 1 cm at the top of the left corner draw new given numerical below given numerical draw space diagram below space diagram draw funicular diagram at the top of the right corner draw vector diagram and below the vector diagram show the result in tabular form at the bottom of the right corner draw name plate of size 18 cm by 4 cm in the first row write name of the college in the second row write name of the student in the third row write title of the sheet and below that write your roll number division date here write scale used to draw the vector diagram and below that there is a space for the signature teacher signature this is a given numerical first of all convert the given udl in a point load the intensity of udl is 20 kN per meter and it is up to span 4 meter so replace this udl by a point load say 80 kN this is a free body diagram of the beam then below that draw space diagram space diagram measure the distance say draw 1 cm line for the 1 meter and just so all the forces show here all the uh, external forces and the support reaction show in the space diagram here measurement of space uh, takes place so you measure the distance 4 meter 2 meter 1 meter and 7 meter so for that you take a scale show 1 meter by 1 cm give name to the space so space between support reaction ra and rb this complete space is indicated by space a then space between ra and 20 this complete space it is space b space between 20 and 80 is space c space between 80 and 20 is space d and the space between 20 kilo newton force and the support reaction rb this complete space is space e so this is a space diagram so in space diagram measure the space and in vector diagram measure the force so we'll draw the vector diagram now so this is a space diagram 
here the force 20 kilo newton force divide the space in two part that is b and c at divide the force at force divide the space in two part that is c and d and 20 kilo newton force divide the space in two part d and e rb divide the space in two part a and e ra divide the space in two part that is a and b so we'll draw the vector diagram for that take a scale 1 centimeter for 10 kilo newton draw a 2 centimeter line vertically downward from point b to c the force is acting from b to c 20 kilo newton then c to d there is a downward 80 kilo newton force so draw 8 centimeter line and the 80 kilo newton force is acting from c to d so shown here vertically downward by arrow then D to E, there is again downward 20 kN force. Draw 2 cm line D to E, it shows 20 kN force. All the known forces shown here, all are acting vertically downward. So, one below one, all the forces represented. Now, to draw funicular diagram, we need to take one vector point. See, this is a vector point draw all the point with this vector point. So, I join a B with vector point. So, name of the line is line B. Join C with vector point. So, name of the line is C. Similarly, join D and E. So, name of the line is D and E. So, this is a complete vector diagram. Here, R A and R B non uh, unknown to us, so not it shown in the figure. First, we will draw the funicular diagram, then we will show R A and R B in a vector diagram. So, now we will draw the funicular diagram. So, just extend the line of action of the forces. So, this space B, C, D and E clearly divided in four parts. Line B draw in a space B like this. So, this line is parallel to the B. For that you measure the angle by using protector or simply draw the line parallel to the line B by using roller scale. Then draw line C in a space C where the line B end from that you start line C draw line parallel to the line C. Similarly in space D draw line D. Line D and this line are parallel to each other. So this is also line D and line E. Here in space A there is a one line. So, in complete space A we have two points one line B is start and one line E is end. If we join, join this two line if we join this two point we get one line and this is nothing but the line A. Now, you represent this line A in a vector diagram. So, draw line parallel to the line A and which is passing through the vector point like this. It will intersect the line B E somewhere say this point A. Now, you measure a length E A this is from E to A there is a one force vertically upward that is R B. So, this is R B E A and A to B there is a vertically upward force R A. So, A to B this is R A. So, this two you measured in a centimeter means measure a length E A in centimeter convert it in a kilo Newton and get the answer of R B in kilo Newton. Similarly, measure the length A B in centimeter convert it in a scale and find out the answer of R A in kilo Newton. So, this is your uh, layout of the drawing sheet. Here you draw the given numerical below given numerical draw space diagram below space diagram draw funicular diagram at this corner draw vector diagram below vector diagram show result in tabular form like this. So, support reaction R A and R B writes its analytical answer in this column and write graphical answer here. Just compare the analytical answer and graphical answer they must be same. Now, answer the question. Following types of diagram are drawn in the analysis of beam by graphical method. 
option a is only space diagram and vector diagram option b is only space diagram vector diagram and funicular diagram option c is free body diagram of beam space diagram vector diagram and funicular diagram option d is none of this so if we see the uh, if you if you have seen the explanation in that option c is correct all the four types of diagram we have drawn free body diagram of the beam space diagram vector diagram and the funicular diagram this is my reference for this video thank you very much for the watching video